What is Ultra AV and why did it show up on my machine? Hi everyone, Leo Notenboom here for AskLeo.com. In recent weeks, several people have suddenly, without warning, had an antivirus tool show up on their machine that they didn't recognize and that they've never heard of. And to be honest, I've never heard of it either. With little notice, it almost sounds like malware. It's not, I think. Here's what happened and what I think you need to do. You were probably running Kaspersky antivirus or one of their security products. Now, as we reported previously, Kaspersky has been banned in the United States. The deadline was the end of September, 2024. And after that, you couldn't download the program and existing installations would no longer be able to update the program or more importantly, the database of malware definitions. The ban essentially rendered Kaspersky's tools impotent. So what Kaspersky did is as the deadline drew nearer, anyone with Kaspersky still installed found that it had been replaced by Ultra AV. Apparently they worked out some kind of a deal with Ultra AV and the program was transparently replaced without asking. The stated goal, of course, is to ensure that your machine continued to have malware protection after Kaspersky could no longer provide the service. That's a great goal. It really is. But the execution, that leaves much to be desired. So is Alter AV any good? Well, at least it's not malware. The reviews I've seen so far have been meh. It's apparently not horrible, but not great. I'd probably end up calling it middle of the road uh, as an appropriate description. More concerning to me, and apparently many others, is that I and they had never heard of Ultra AV until this happened. I don't find that encouraging at all. I know everyone has to start somewhere, but to have a relatively unknown security program suddenly take the place of a formally respected tool feels both underhanded and very suspicious. It's unclear when you'll have to start paying for Ultra AV. Ideally, it wouldn't be until your Kaspersky subscription would end, but then we're not sure. There have also been reports that it also installs a VPN product, an identity protection component. Again, both without asking. That all reflects very poorly on the tool, regardless of how good it might be. So what should Kaspersky have done? Well, they would have done something along these lines. They could have established a relationship with a top tier US security package. Yep, this means reaching out to their direct competitors. Ideally, that relationship would have involved the new entity taking on the existing subscriptions and the terms of Kaspersky customers affected. They would have told their users what was going on. That to me is perhaps the biggest failing. They would have given their users enough warning, not waking up to find the change, but weeks worth of warning to say, hey, this is the situation. This is what we're going to do for you. They could have given their users a choice. Ultra AV could certainly have been one of the choices, I suppose. They could have informed their users what would happen if they did nothing. Presumably, this would have resulted in the scenario we see today, except with informed consent. In other words, they could have been much more open and professional in this entire process. As it is, it feels like Kaspersky is basically leaving the US market with a big screw you as the message on the way out. It might not be their intent, but it certainly feels that way. And it's tarnished their reputation, if they care. So what should you do? Well, the big thing you should do is decide for yourself. You could certainly do nothing and keep Alter AV. Like I said, it's okay as best I can tell. In your shoes, however, I would do the following. I would uninstall anything left of Kaspersky, 
perhaps even being aggressive about it using a tool like Revo Uninstaller. Again, Kaspersky has lost much of my trust because of all this, and I want to make sure that their regular install isn't leaving anything behind. I would uninstall Ultra AV. Then, much like my general what tool should I use recommendation, I would let Windows Security take over the job. It's already on your machine. And once you remove another security package, Windows Security will step in to do the job. Now, if Windows Security isn't your thing, there are plenty of fine alternatives out there. Alternatives that are not only highly rated, but programs you've, say, actually heard of. For updates, for comments, for links related to this topic and more, visit askleo.com slash 174692. I'm Leo Notenboom, and this is askleo.com. Thanks for watching.